Hello, I'm Simon Atkinson. I want to talk to you today about assessment for learning rather than assessment on learning. I'm going to position this in the context of an eight stage learning design process and in the context of an assessment structure. So please look for other references to videos uh, associated with these topics as we go through. I'm going to talk today about feedback as one component in the assessment process experienced by students. So feedback's a very important part of the learning engagement that you have as a member of faculty and the student, but it comes in multiple forms. I'm gonna break this down into some series of four elements uh, in three different videos. So today I wanna to talk about four contracts that you make between you and your students with regards to feedback. So the first of these is making sure that your students know where the feedback is going to come from. It may not just be coming from you. There might be v various different sources of feedback from which the student can benefit in their learning. It, some of it will come from you. Some of it might be automated. It might come from their peers. It might come from the, the co-opted participants in your program. So establishing first where they should be looking for feedback is the important first step. The second important contractual agre agreement that you make with your students is as to the timelines that they can expect in their feedback. When do they expect to receive feedback? At what point? During a session, in response to each activity in classroom, at the end of a class, uh, between classes, at the end of a module, where do they, when do they expect to see their feedback being generated? The third element here is what you mean by feedback. You need to have a contractual arrangement with your students as to what you mean by feedback. Students sometimes expect written notations on a script that they submit, but they might not interpret some of your verbal feedback in classrooms in response to questions or any roundup sessions that you do at the beginning or end of a session as being feedback, although it might well be feedback. And the fourth and final contractual arrangement you need to have with your students is to their expectation of what they're expecting to do with that feedback. So what is it that you expect them to do with the feedback that they then receive? How do they document it? How do they build on it? How do they annotate it? How do they feed it into their learning process? So there are four different aspects that you need to negotiate with your students right up front. Where do they look for feedback? When will they receive feedback? What you mean by feedback and what they're expected to do with that feedback.